Hello, this is Sazi coming at you from Truth Consequences, New Mexico. Small process, which we call either ideological subversion or active measures, activne meropriatia in the language of the KGB, or psychological war. Fighting war on a battlefield is the most stupid and primitive way of fighting a war. The highest art of warfare is not to fight at all. Definitely check him out on YouTube. But to subvert anything of value in your enemy's country, anything. Put white against black, old against young, uh, I don't know, wealthy against poor and so on, doesn't matter. As long as it disturbs society, as long as it cuts the moral fiber of a We are stronger united. That's why they're trying to turn us against the idea. Hey, Russia is actually a pretty small country, especially when compared to a unified Western world. But Putin knows that if he can pit the West against itself and break up our alliances, Russia is suddenly much more powerful and can take on other countries one by one. He's trying to reshape the world order in his favor, and disinformation is one of his favorite tools. And Putin hates anything Western, liberal, and most especially American. He would like nothing more than to see his biggest enemy crumble from the inside and allow an ultra-right-wing fascist regime come into power using our freedoms against us and quite literally repeating history from 100 years ago just to prove how stupid we are and unable to recognize that we're blatantly being used against ourselves. So this is the deal. Active measures designed to subvert and deceive, to disinform the public opinion upon which our democracies are built. If you're buying into any of this, you're fighting against America and it needs to stop. We all, we all need to put a filter on our brains because Russia is out there. They are trying to influence us. This is the new warfare. We are at war. We have to decide who we are going to fight for. We have to fight for each other. If anything is out there that is designed to divide us, to weaken us, to get Trump elected, to destroy our institutions. Since that's coming from a secretive or an anonymous place that's pushing this stuff, they're part of the fight against America. Ignore them, Just block them, speak up against them, enough already. So this is working way too well, which is why I'm here. There's way too much hate being thrown at each other. It's way too easy. It's a great brainwashing uh, it's like a cult at this point, and I'm not sure I blame anybody because it is the warfare that's behind it. Is to change the perception of reality of every American. Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts Just to that. Remember, what you're seeing and what you're reading is not what's happening. I would love to show Russia that they're wrong. They are flat wrong. I would love to show them that we are not that dumb. That we are not the idiots. That we do not fall for this shit. That when we know that this is happening, that they are not able to play us like absolute fiddles and absolute puppets. That America and governing by the people and for the people does work. That we can have freedoms and not destroy ourselves with them that we will not stand for them or anyone to screw with us, our elections, or our country and use us as soldiers in their war. They have grossly underestimated the strength and the power of Americans. Our diversity is our strength. We can do this together.